Hi, my name is Brian. I'm the 3D print creator, and in this video, we are going to make a replacement car key. A few days ago, a friend of mine came by with the question if I could help her repair her old car key. The thing was that it was completely broken, and well, she, she was online already searching for a replacement housing for her car key, but she couldn't find it, because there are two types of Suzuki car keys, and she has the kind yeah, that isn't available. So uh, then she asked me if I was willing to help her glue the, the pieces together and repair her old car key, but I was thinking this is all flimsy and it, it won't work. So let's design a new case for the car key and well, print it. So I scanned the internals of her car key, uh, which is a housing with uh, yeah, a, a transponder for the keys, the, the open and close door keys, and uh, well, the, the actual key itself. And when I made that scan, uh, I could use them in Fusion to align them and to see yeah, how I could make the smallest possible housing around it. So I didn't use the scans to measure the parts because well, you can use calipers for that. But I tried to see how I can make the housing as small as possible around it while still being strong. So a few hours later, I had a new key for her. And when we got to her car, her car wouldn't start. And that's when we realized that her car used an immobilizer transponder. And well, the immobilizer transponder wasn't put in the new car key. So we had to look for it. And we found it, luckily, in the parts of her old car key. And yeah, well, I had to design a, a small place in my new design uh, so that this uh, immobilizer, which is only a few rice grains in size, uh, yeah, could be placed inside that new key. And I got into Fusion, uh, I started tinkering on it, and well, I found a place where I could fit that immobilizer. When I done that, well, this is the new car key, and uh, I can say it works wonders. So now it's a strong new car key uh, that is yeah, much better than the original was. It's thicker, it has a better housing, while not being bigger in size. So yeah, she's very happy with it. And uh, well, she can now use her car again with the immobilizer because that's also built in and it just works. That's what this video is all about. If you also have a 3D printer and maybe a 3D scanner, although it wasn't really needed in this repair, uh, well, then you can repair your parts as well. So try learning CAD, try learning ways to repair your parts and uh, well, do it. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.